What's up guys? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos and let's get started. So today I've got a very big comprehensive nail polish swatch and review for you guys. I'm actually partnering up with the brand ASP to show you guys both their gel polishes and their nail polishes. So first I'm going to go over how to use their gel polishes. It's an at-home gel kit and then I'm going to show you guys swatches of some of their gels and then I'm going to show you guys swatches of some of their regular regular nail polishes that dry by air. So I'm starting off with the gels. If you guys are not interested in gels and you just want to see their regular lacquer swatches, I will put a timestamp right here so you guys can just click ahead to that part of the video. But I wanted to get started with the gels. So if you guys haven't heard of ASP before, they are a nail polish brand that is available in Sally Beauty. ASP stands for All Season Professional, but it is actually a DIY at home gel brand. And then they also have their line of regular lacquers. So so I have this big starter kit that is like everything that you need to get started with their products. It does come with an LED lamp. However, obviously these are just standard gel polishes. So if you already have a lamp at home, you don't need to buy a new lamp. If you don't have one, this is a great kit to get started with everything. So yeah, I've got these nifty instructions. So I'm gonna show you guys a little tutorial of how to do everything using all of the products in this kit. And then I have 12 gel polishes to swatch and review for you guys. So this is the lamp that comes in the kit. It's actually a really nice medium size. It's not too big, but it's also not so small that you can only fit one nail in there. And it does have an on off switch in the back. This is an LED lamp, not a UV lamp. So it does work faster and it's also not as damaging to your skin. All right, so let's just talk about the steps to go through the manicure. This is how you apply it. I'll also show you how to remove it. And then we'll move on to all of the swatches. So step one is making sure that your nail is prepped and ready to go. So you wanna remove any any existing nail polish that is on your nails. You want to push back your cuticles. You can file the nail to the shape that you desire and just make sure that it is generally ready for application. So step two, well, technically, I guess this is step one of the manicure after you have already prepped. The other one is step zero, but step one is you're going to use the two-in-one dehydrator and cleansing wipe to clear off your nail. So we're going to use this as a dehydrator first. So basically you just put a little bit on a cotton ball or on a wipe and just swipe it onto your nail. This is going to help remove those excess oils and help the product adhere better to your nails. So step two is using the bonder. This is actually listed as an optional step. It is a pH bonder and it says it will help the gel adhere to your nail for longer. And it says you can either apply it to the whole nail or you can just apply it to the tips of the nails. And then you want to let this air dry. This does not require any curing. Step three is to apply the base coat and let that cure for 30 seconds. And now this is the standard base that comes with the ASP kit, but they also have a peel off gel base coat. I didn't actually use that for this video, but it is supposed to last as long as a gel manicure and it actually peels off. So I am curious to try that. If you guys want to see a wear test, just let me know in the comments. Step four is to apply the color onto your nail. So all of the ones that I tried in this video are actually two coaters, but I'm going to go over the review of that. The kit comes with this shade passionate pink. So I did two layers of this. So what you do is you apply one layer onto all of your nails on one hand. You cure that for 30 seconds. Then you apply a second layer on all five fingers and then you cure for another 30 seconds. And then step five is to go in with the top coat. And then once again, you're going to cure for another 30 seconds. Since this is a wipe top coat, you do need to use the two in one dehydrator and cleansing wipe again. So this time we're going to be using it as a cleansing wipe. Once you are done curing it, you can just wipe that onto the nails. Again, you want to use something lint free. I do not have any lint free wipes, so I ended up using a cosmetic sponge, but it worked out pretty fine. So yeah, you just want to apply this onto your nail and then it'll be smooth and dry to the touch. So yeah, that is the application process. And then the removal process is pretty standard. Basically, you just want to take a low grit nail file. So like the standard gritty 180 nail file that you generally see. And then you want to file off the top layer of the gel polish. So what you're doing is you're basically taking off the shine and you're taking off that like protective layer of top coat, which is going to make the gel remove easier. Easier. The next step is to take the conditioning soak off solution. And what I like to do is I like to just saturate a cotton ball with it and then hold it onto my nail. You can also use a foil and then just let it sit on your nails for five to 10 minutes. When I did this, I ended up getting a little overzealous and I probably went a little bit too early when I took that off, but definitely wait a little bit longer than I did. I still ended up being totally fine, but yeah, just don't, don't get a little impatient like me. Set a timer, do something else, watch TV, and then just let it go. Once 
you pop off that bit of foil, you can just kind of scrape off any excess and then just swipe at it with a cotton ball until it is fully removed from your nail. And then the final thing I do after removal is I always add cuticle oil to my nails and I just rub that in to make sure that my nails are getting nice and nourished. As long as you are applying and removing carefully, this should not be damaging your nails. So now that we have gone over how to use it and how the starter kit works and all of the products in there, I want to show you guys some swatches of the gels. They do have a ton of different colors available on the Sally Beauty website. I've got 12 of them to show you. I thought they were all super cute. So let me show you guys those swatches roll footage. So we'll start off with some of the more classic shades. This one is called Pretty Awesome and it's a really beautiful almost neon coral pink cream shade. Actually I think it's more of a salmon but regardless it is super beautiful. I did end up doing two coats for full coverage but it was surprisingly opaque on the first coat. As a reminder just so you guys know these are gel polishes meaning that I am curing them in between each layer. So I'm not showing that on camera but I am doing the curing. So here it is in two coats and honestly this is just a classic color to have I love shades like this, especially for pedicures, and I feel like this is a really good formula, so I really enjoyed it. Next up, we have the shade Ooh La La, which, oh my gosh, talk about a bright, beautiful neon pink. This is a neon Barbie pink cream, and again, just a really beautiful, classic color. For me, all of these colors just scream pedicure, so I definitely want to try them out for that. This one was just a tiny bit sheer on the first coat, but I was able to get full coverage in just two, which is especially impressive for a neon because sometimes you need to use a white base color underneath which I did not have to do for this so really enjoyed that formula it's so bright and beautiful and neon so definitely another classic to have for your collection next up we have the shade passionate pink and this is actually the polish that I was using in my little intro there to show you guys how the product works but I just wanted to give it a full swatch just so you guys could really see the color it's just a really beautiful bright pink shade that has a really gorgeous gorgeous golden fleck shimmer running throughout. So wow, this one is just like next level pretty. Another classic color, but somehow those gold little flecks in there really elevate the polish into something that's just a little bit more unique and special, and I just love it. Next up we have yet another pink. This is the last of the pinks that I'm reviewing, but this is a bright neon fuchsia color, and it's another really gorgeous one. This is another one that had a little bit of sheerness on that first coat, but I did get full coverage in the second. One cool thing about these is even the ones that were a little bit sheer on the first coat, they ended up being pretty smooth, like there was no patchiness. So if you're the type of person that likes a sheer wash of color, you could definitely just wear these as one coaters and it doesn't look splotchy or patchy or anything. But personally, I love this one in two coats. I think it's gorgeous. Next up, we have the shade Sugar Plum and this is a very cool toned purple jelly gel. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I happen to have a very big love for jelly gel specifically, if only because they're called jelly gels and I think that's hilarious. But when I say jelly, I just mean an intentionally sheer formula. You can build this up to however many coats you want in order to get the look that you're going for. Personally, I love the look in two coats. I think that looks so gorgeous and I love that sheer wash of color. But I ended up doing three coats just to show you guys how deep this beautiful purple can get. And honestly, I actually really like it in three coats too. I think this looks really beautiful. You guys know I can't resist a purple. I can't resist to jelly and just put those together and I'm probably going to be in love with it. <laughs> Next up, we have another purple shade. This one's called I'm Royalty Purple, and this one's actually pretty different. It is a very warm toned, dark purple base that has a very intense, cool toned purple shimmer running throughout. So just a, a very different vibe, but I love it. I especially love it for this time of year, these sort of really dark shades that almost look black, but you can definitely tell that they are not black. And with that extra shimmer running throughout, I think it just looks even more special and pretty. So two coats gave me full coverage and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous on the nail. I love that contrast between the warm base and the cool shimmer and I see there's like a little fuchsia fleck running throughout as well. Next up we have the shade Ego which is a medium teal cream shade and oh my gosh the formula on this one was so incredible. It was just so easy to work with and so smooth. The thing about these gels is they really apply like regular polish. Honestly if I wasn't looking at the bottle I would think I'm just applying polish 
polished. They didn't feel thick or gummy or difficult to work with at all, and they were so beginner friendly. I'm not a beginner per se at gels, but I do love an easy formula to work with, and I thought these were just so impressive, especially considering how inexpensive they are. I was just very much into these. Next up, we have the shade Blue Crush, which is actually a really beautiful light minty shade, and this is almost like that Tiffany blue kind of color. This was another one that really impressed me because the opacity on this was so good. I was really expecting a color this light, especially these types of pastel shades, to be a three-coater, but it ended up giving me perfect coverage in two, honestly. Even the first coat was pretty impressive, but of course I did need that second coat to get that full coverage, but what a beautiful color. I could definitely wear this any time of year. Next up, we have the shade Got the Blues, which contrary to the name, I would actually consider to be a gray, but it is a very cool toned gray and I love a good gray nail polish. I always say it's a palette cleanser for me because I do love going with a gray, especially if I don't know what my hair color or my makeup is going to be. I love going with a gray shade because it's nice and neutral. And this one is so beautiful and cool toned. It almost does have a little bit of a blueness to it and I think it looks so gorgeous on the nails. I got full coverage in two coats and I think it looked beautiful. Next up we have the shade Daydream and I was actually really excited to try this one. It's like a silvery duochrome polish. Oh my gosh, this is going to be hard to describe. So the base of it is like a silver, but then it has this really intense shimmer running throughout that shifts from a purpley tone into like a tealish kind of gray blue. And I just think that is so interesting and different and fun. I bet this would also look really beautiful over black because you can get that same kind of duochrome shift, but also with a darker base. So I think this is definitely going to be a fun one one for me to play around with. I ended up doing two coats for full coverage and I was careful on that second coat just to get any brush strokes going straight up and down, but I think once it was cured, it really didn't show too much of those brush strokes, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. Next up, we have the shade Black Beauty, which is your classic black cream gel polish. And to be honest, I don't own too many black gels, so I was really excited to add this one to my collection, especially because it is a really good quality one. On that first coat, I basically got full coverage coverage, but like I said, these gels are not thick at all. They just feel like really smooth, nice nail polish. So I ended up putting on a second coat because I felt like that kind of completed the manicure. And I think two coats is actually pretty perfect for this one. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade In the Diamond Lane. And I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this one, but as soon as I started applying it, I was absolutely in love with it. It's just a really beautiful dark silvery gray that has a silver shimmer running throughout, as well as medium and larger hex glitters in silver. And I just thought that was such a beautiful combo, and I think it's so beautiful as a gel polish. Again, I was pretty careful about brush strokes, but it ended up not being streaky at all, and I love all like the little glittery bits. I feel like this looks like, I don't know, like chain mail? Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know, but it looks really cool. <laughs> so yeah, those are the gels. Like I said, they were all really easy to work with, very nice to apply, and they all looked really great on the nails. I, I was very impressed with them. I haven't used that many gel brands, but I feel like there are definitely brands that I've used that didn't feel beginner friendly, and this brand definitely does feel beginner friendly. So if you're nervous about trying out gels, I always love going with brands, especially ones that have a starter kit, but I always love going with brands that feel like nail polish and apply like nail polish, but then they last like gel. So this is definitely one of those brands for me. So these individual gels come in nine milliliter bottles and they retail for $9.99 USD on the Sally Beauty website. And they also have that starter kit available for $74.99 on the website. And that does include all of the products that I showed you guys, as well as that one color passionate pink. Like I said, they also have that peel kit that retails for $49.99 and that comes with everything you need. Or you can just get the peel off on its own for $9.69 USD. So I'm going to link everything down in the description for you guys so you can check that out. But yeah, so now that we have gone over all of the gel stuff, let's talk about their longwear lacquer. So this is actually their regular nail polish line. It does not require any curing by lamp. It is just a regular line. You apply the base coat, you let it dry, you apply the polish, you let it dry, and then that is it. So they also have a ton of different colors available on the Sally Beauty website. I've got eight of them to show you guys today, and I was actually pretty surprised with them. They do have a wide flat brush that actually has a rounded edge, so it makes it super easy to apply. So yeah, without spoiling anything, let me just show you guys those. So roll footage. So I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Of course, I am using the ASP base coat for this one, so I'll link it down below for you guys. 
So starting off with the first shade, we have the color Hot Mess, and this is just a really beautiful, bright cherry red cream shade. And this was the first one I ever tried from ASP, and on that first stroke, I was shocked. Oh my gosh, what a formula. This is a perfect one coater. It is so smooth and easy to apply, and because they have those rounded edge to those brushes, it just makes it such an incredibly smooth, like you only need a few brush strokes to completely cover the nail. I didn't really have to do any cleanup for these because they were just so smooth and easy to apply. I am very impressed. Next up we have the shade Berry Cool which is a really beautiful darker fuchsia cream shade and this is another one that I just instantly fell in love with. I think it looks a little bit red on my camera for some reason but it is definitely on the cooler side. If you guys saw in my intro I was wearing this shade combined with another shade that I'm about to show you guys but yeah it was just so beautiful on. I absolutely loved it. It's just a classic color and the formula. Again, I just can't get enough of this formula. It is so good. Next up, we have the shade Blue Bayou, which is a really beautiful indigo cream shade. And again, I feel like I'm just going to be saying the same thing over and over again, but I was really, really impressed with these. I'm very excited to try more because I was not expecting this formula to be so good. Like I knew that ASP really focuses on the gels, but they have really perfected such a good cream formula too. So this is another one. It was just opaque in the first coat. I ended up putting on a second coat just to show you guys, but honestly, it didn't even make any difference. I could have just gotten away with just the one coat. Next up, we have the shade Dark Storm, which is a really beautiful dark gray cream. And this one I was also really excited to try because I was just saying in my gel portion of this that I love gray polishes as a palette cleanser. But one thing I just don't have enough of in my collection is these dark grays. And I think this one is just so perfect. I especially love darker grays in the fall and the winter, so I'm definitely going to be wearing this one a lot in the next few months. Again, just an incredible formula, very easy and self-leveling and smooth, and it was just super opaque as well. Next up, we have the shade Daydream, and this is actually the same polish that I reviewed in gel form, but this is in regular lacquer form that dries by air, which makes me think we must have some others in the ASP line that are both gel and polish, which I always love to see because then you can kind of pick what you're in the mood for. But yeah, just a really beautiful, silvery base that has this duochrome shimmer running throughout that shifts from a purple into a teal and it's so beautiful and subtle and soft. This one I did find had a little bit more of that brush strokiness than the gel version, but it was very easy to just smooth that out in the second layer and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Next up we have the shade It Wasn't Me, which is a glitter that I am so excited to have. This is like a champagne-y kind of rose gold glitter that also has holographic bar glitters running throughout. And one thing I always say, well, I don't say it too often because there's never any bar glitters in anything. But when I do see bar glitters, I always say I can never get enough of them. I think they're so cool and fun. I love the addition of the little bars in here. This is the other color that I was wearing in the intro. It's like my little accent nail. And I think it is so beautiful and perfect in two coats. Next up, we have the shade Keep Dreaming. This is a silver glitter and it actually has a little bit of a hollow sparkle running throughout. I will say the hollow sparkle on this is pretty subtle, but I bet in natural sunlight, it's going to look so gorgeous. So I ended up doing two coats. It gave me full coverage, but I do have short nails. And because this is in a clear base, you might want to throw on a third. I think you could also probably get away with either sponging this on or definitely, definitely use this for gradients because I have a feeling it's going to be gorgeous. You can kind of see when it's out of focus how that holographic shimmer comes through. But yeah, just another really gorgeous one. And last but not least, we have the shade White Hot, which is a classic white cream shade. And I always like to judge a nail polish brand by their black and white polish because I think that those are relatively difficult to get right. And I gotta say, I was pretty impressed with this white polish. It ended up being almost opaque on the first coat. I did need a second to get full coverage, but honestly, I have yet to find a full coverage one coat white polish. So this is definitely getting added to my favorite whites. It was very smooth, very easy to work with. And it is that nice bright white. It doesn't feel chalky at all. It doesn't feel gummy. It was just super easy to apply. So yeah, those are the polishes. And like I said, I was really impressed with these formulas, especially that opacity is fantastic. And I really loved those wide flat brushes that had that little rounded edge. It just made application so easy. And again, just like their gels, I feel like it's just a brand that's very beginner friendly. So very easy to work with. So these polishes are also available on the Sally Beauty website. They're also in nine milliliter bottles and they retail for $5.99 US. 
SD. So I will link that down in the description below for you guys. But yeah, so that is it for this major nail polish and gel polish review. I would love to hear from you guys. Have you ever tried ASP before? Are you planning on it? And if so, which colors and products are you picking up? Are you more interested in their gels or their polishes? Let me know in the comments. Again, if you guys do want to see a wear test on their peel off base, just let me know and we can definitely do that. <laughs> if you enjoyed my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And yeah, that is it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Diane Eason. And Diane wants to know, where do you get all of your cool chokers? First of all, thank you. Second of all, I get actually the majority of my chokers right now off of Amazon. They have these like huge listings where you can get like 20 chokers at a time. So I always end up doing that. That's where the majority of mine are. And then I always just get like random ones from, well, I haven't in a while, but I used to get a bunch of them from Forever 21 in H&M. And just like whenever I was in the mall and just saw a cute choker, I would just pick it up. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys saw, I, I did a recent vlog on my vlog channel where I was doing some jewelry organizing and I have so many chokers, like actually an insane amount of chokers and I haven't worn the majority of them. So uh, I definitely need to like spice it up with my chokers and start wearing the other ones that I have because I feel like there's just a few that I wear all the time and those are like my favorites, but I really need to try some of the other ones that I've bought. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.